Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna have a small introduction about N8N. We are going to build a research assistant using N8N fully hands off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna be able to do research on market competitors, market conditions, completely hands off, and it will run the workflow automatically for you. So once you're in N8 and the website right here, you wanna click get started, go through the motions, get started. You have a 14 day trial, which I also have. And once you're in and you create a workflow, this is what you'll be met with. Now, once you're in here, it's important to understand what's going on in this. This is your editor page. The editor page is where you put nodes in. And nodes are kind of like steps that you want the workflow to do. So the first step will always either be a trigger manually on app event when something happens on any of these apps. Maybe you want it on a schedule, on a webhook call, when you execute a different workflow outside, and then other ways. Now for us, we are going to trigger manually. Trigger manually means once you click execute workflow, it will execute the entire workflow and go and navigate through the steps. You can also schedule trigger. And if you add this here, you can say days, how many days between two triggers, and then at midnight at 1am. For now, we're just going to do a manual execution. The next thing I want to do is I want to go to Google Sheets. Once I'm in Google Sheets, I have all these different drink menu items and I want a summary. I want to do a market research. We are going to retrieve the menu items and then we're going to return a summary of every single menu item, a price range, maybe some information about some local competitors and such. You might ask, how are we going to read it here? I would like to introduce you to a node. Nodes, like I mentioned before, are certain steps that happen in the workflow http requests webhook runs maybe things related to github manipulate text do something on the internet or an ai agent we're going to do something in app there are so many apps that you can use look at how many options you have you can use airtable affinity you have aws coin gecko you can even tie in some google analytics to search for for example the most popular drinks that are being searched in a certain city or place but for now we are just going to click on google sheet next we are going to get rows in a sheet and as soon as you click this it will be met with this menu what you want to do is you want to connect your credentials first you won't have google sheets account what you'll have is create new credential and i recommend you sign in with auth2 with your gmail account so you can get started fully authenticated and ready to go once you are authenticated and ready to go you want to select a resource and we're going to select a sheet within a document then we want to get rows and that is the specific rows that we have we're going to choose our coffee menu google sheet and then we are going to use specifically the coffee menu sheet that are named right here you don't have to add any filters we're just going to add this sheet note you might ask what if we run this we are going to get every single item in the sheet we're going to get 10 items that is related to the 10 different drinks if you click here you will see the output. Hope you guys are still with me right now. Next, we want to add an AI agent. We're gonna link this AI agent and you might notice here, there is connected to a chat trigger node and then you can define below. The reason why it has a red error and it says connected to chat trigger node is because you can directly talk to the AI agent. So instead of you connecting to the row in the sheets, you can do a connection right here. You can click chat trigger. Once you connect them and you execute the workflow, this chat menu will directly act like a chat between your AI agent. We're going to leave this for now. I'm going to keep this note so I can demonstrate a bit later. Next, you want a chat model, which is going to control the output and the input and basically control the AI agent. Right now, imagine your AI agent is just an empty box. You need to add a chat model inside the AI agent to control the different MCPs and tools that it will use. So once you click add chat model, we are going to use open AI chat model and we're going to use four point one mini you're going to connect your open ai api account all you need is an api key you can get that from open ai next you're going to choose gpt 4.1 mini the next thing is we want to add a tool in order to search the internet about different coffee shops and i want to search for coffee shops in the city of seattle i want to open a coffee shop for example in the city of seattle and i want to use the internet to search for different coffee shops i'm a big fan of perplexity perplexity has one of the best models 
for deep research. So again, you're gonna connect your Perplexity account. Once you've retrieved your API key and you've connected your account, it will always have like a green check once you click on your account and you've successfully connected it to show you and confirm that, hey, you're good to go. Your API keys are correct, all is good. The tool description, we're gonna select it automatically because we are gonna use the AI agent's context in order to explain what it should do. We're gonna select Sonar. If you have access to Sonar Deep Research, you can use that. I don't have access to it for some reason. I keep getting rate limited every time I use it. We can actually try it out. I'll click Sonar Deep Research here. If it doesn't work, I'll come back and switch it. But let's try it for today. Yesterday, it wasn't working. The next thing is you wanna let the model define what parameters for the message is. This is what message is. It's the first message you send to Perplexity in order for it to kickstart the search. Now, we don't need to do that because we are going to make sure that it is passed on by our chat model. It's gonna be smart enough to understand what the first search is gonna be. Okay, so the output, we're going to actually let the model define what the output is gonna be. So once we've had a model, we've had a chat model as a brain in order to control the tool calls, and this model is what is going to decide what the input text for us is gonna be. And then you're gonna notice perplexity model is going to return back the results, and it's gonna keep going through for every item in the Google Sheet. These numbers here that are in between the two nodes are the amount of times that you will run this workflow. This AI agent will run 10 times. This get row sheet will run one time. So next we wanna configure the AI agent. We're not gonna connect it to a chat trigger node. We want to define it below and we are going to prompt it. We need to write a prompt of what the job of this AI agent is gonna do. What is it gonna do for us? If you're not familiar with prompting and what prompts to write, you can go to ChatGPT or even Perplexity. I asked it to write me a quick prompt for an AI agent. Of course, it's always great to leverage different tools you have. This is good. We're going to take this prompt and we're going to put it in here. But before we click enter, we want to input what drinks we have. Instead of right here for each menu item I've provided, for each, we're going to remove this and we're going to drag the drink in here. So it turned it quickly into a prompt expression because we've added a, a JavaScript expression. So I've edited it a bit and it's nice to see the result here because you can get context of what it's going to say. Retrieve information about latte and complete the following. Research and report the average charge price for the item in Seattle. Remove that and add drink again in here so we can specify the prompt. Provide the typical right for, for every single item, it's going to return this prompt for us. So we are done and we're ready to go. We have a prompt. We can actually add a system message instead of this. We're gonna add that you're an expert market researcher specializing in the food and beverage sector in Seattle. Once we have the results, we want to insert them back into our Google Sheet. So what we do is we search for sheet, do append row in sheet or append or update row in sheet. We're gonna select append or update row. We're gonna select the coffee menu sheet and we're gonna map automatically. Sorry, we're going to do map each column manually and we're going to select summary and we need to execute the previous nodes in order to get the results so what we can do is we can just disconnect this and we can execute the workflow in order to get the results back for us so if we click execute workflow it runs this gets the 10 items and it's going to formulate a system prompt for us it's going to research for us and it's going to use perplexity as a tool to get more information that it needs you can use anything that NAN offers as a tool. If we wanted, we can do a HTTP request. If we went to the Yelp API and we used an HTTP request, you can select a GET request, put the URL for Yelp, and we can do an API call and retrieve information from that too. What if we attach these two into an AI agent and then researched top trending coins in a crypto, for example, subreddit, and then we got information about this coin and then executed a HTTP request, a post request in order to buy coins that are mentioned a lot on Reddit. You could do that. These are different ideas that I'm giving you and we'll talk about them in the future. After we have appended, I'm gonna add a limit in here and the max item is one because I wanna send a email. So a Gmail right here to myself and we're gonna say research, done, click on it. So I actually made a mistake, you wanna match 
map each column manually you want to do match on drink you want to select the drink from your sheet here and then you want to match it into an output and then you want to click execute step once it's done executing you can go back and here it is it has matched a latte to the cappuccino to the rest of this i think it goes all the way down to the blueberry muffin cool so this is the market research that we have we could have easily ran some javascript code in order to segment these sections to like average chart price changed or whatever but this is generally what we want that is basically our market researcher this is probably like hours worth of work that you could have done we did it in probably 10 minutes and i just wanted to show you the chat mode the chat node here where we can link it together we are not going to do that we're going to do a, a connected chat trigger node for example what's the average it's going to like ask it what's the average price of a ramen noodle bowl in seattle that is a chicken it's going to use the perplexity chat do some research for us and then it's going to come back with the result for us from $11 to $14 for instance delivery data from uber eats shows around 11.42 now you might ask how does it know what to research or what the numbers are it's using perplexity sonar as i mentioned which has the internet access to it if we look here at the responses it's going to cite some of the information it used in order to get some of the information that it's returning but yeah that's it for the video today i hope you are excited about any ad as i am I'm super excited to get deeper and deeper into NAN so I can understand it more and start making better tutorials for y'all so you can automate everything. If you have a specific workflow that you're interested in, leave it in the comments section below. I will make sure to research it. If you have something for call centers, for reviews, for bookings, for appointments, anything you need, let me know in the comment section below. I might be able to get a video out for this, but that's it for today. Be safe, be well. By the way, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. And I think not over 90% of you who watch aren't subscribed. So subscribe, I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. But yeah, be safe, be well. I'll see you next time. Peace.